Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting video you took in so my name is Jimmy today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve an off shoulder bodycon dress with slit this tutorial is going to be a quick and easy one trust me you're gonna love it do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet we're going to bring in lots of beautiful and quick tutorials to you this year You need fabric, of course, and I'm using the stretch fabric for this tutorial. You also need your pattern, and I'm using the basic bodice pattern to achieve this dress. You need machine thread, you need your tape measure, you need pins, you need a uh, pencil or chalk, and you definitely need scissors. For an off-shoulder dress, you need to determine how low you want the shoulder to be. I mean, it's called an off-shoulder dress because it's actually off the shoulder. So you have to note how low you want your shoulder to be, I mean, exposed. So I'm going to measure from the neck here down to wherever you want your off-shoulder top or dress or whatever you're making to start from. So I want mine to be about 6 inches low I don't want it to be lower than that so I'm going to start you know I'm going to note my measurements which is six inches and that's what I'm going to use you know when I'm doing the cutting now I'm also going to take the circumference of the shoulder because this is very important when you're making an off shoulder dress or when you're making anything that has to do with off shoulder so I'm going to take the circumference of the shoulder and I'm going to note the measurements I have taken. So these are the measurements that you need. They're very important. So the circumference of her shoulder, of this shoulder, is 40 inches. I'm just using, you know, my model here to illustrate, to show you, I mean, the kind of measurement you need to take when you're making an off-shoulder dress. So this is 40 inches. The shoulder circumference is 40 inches. And from the shoulder to where the neck, the neckline like this from the shoulder to the depth of where we want our, our off shoulder to start is about six inches so note that down then definitely you need the boss the waist and the hip circumference and then you need the length of your dress so i have folded my fabric into two basically i have about two and a half yards of fabric here and the length is by 60. but before i did the folding i had to determine how stretchy and where stretches the most on my fabric because we want the part that stretches the most to be around the body circumference it gives ease and all that this is a bodycon dress it's a very close fitted dress it's not loose at all so this part stretches the most and that's why you know i've decided to use this part for my dress so i'm going to also be using the basic bodice pattern like i said you know for this tutorial if you do not know how to achieve this basic bodice pattern i'm going to leave the link at the description box so you can go check it out uh, if you don't have a bodice pattern you can also use a t-shirt a close fitted t-shirt if you have one check out also my video on how you can how to make a kimono and you definitely i mean see how i use a t-shirt to get that done so if you're ready let's just begin I'm going to take in six inches off my pattern. So what I'm going to do, this is six inches here. I'm just going to fold my paper this way. You know. I'm going to fold my paper, my pattern paper. I'm going to fold it that way. So I'm going to continue with the rest of my marking from here. Now I'm going to Go ahead to mark the length of our dress the length of our dress is 60 inches when we subtract 6 inches from 60 we're going to get about 54 inches so I'm going to mark 54 inches that's the length of my dress 
54. I'm going to add one inch extra for hemming. So I'm going to be marking 55 inches. So I'll just do that marking here. So this is where my length, the length of my dress is going to stop. Now, this basic bodice pattern is my exact measurement. And I don't want to add any extra. I'm not going to be adding any extra because I want it to be, you know, fitted on my body. It's a bodycon dress. So we're not going to add any extra. We're not going to add anything. Already I added one inch for ease while I was drafting my basic bodice pattern. So because I've done that already, I'm not going to be adding any ease or any seam allowance because I'm going to use the one inch I added for ease as my seam allowance all round. Now, from the waist here, this is where my waist marking is, if you can look, I mean, if you can see properly. I'm going to come down by 9 inches, and this is where I'm going to impute my hip measurement. My hip is 40, now when you divide 40 by, by 4, you get 10 inches. So I'm going to be using 11 inches because the 1 inch, like I said earlier, is going to be for my seam allowance. So... From that, I'm just going to draw the line from my hip. I'm going to use a ruler to get a straight line to just draw it all the way down. So I'm going to use a ruler from the hip measurement just to draw a straight line all the way. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to cut out. I'm going to cut out. So now I'm going to use the front side to cut out the back side. So we'll just fold the fabric again. Place the front on the back and we're going to cut out exactly the same, same thing. Wow, so right now we've cut out front and back exact same thing I'll just keep that aside and then we're going to cut out the shoulder we took the measurement of the circumference of the shoulder and we had 40 inches so we're going to fold the remaining fabric and I want the length of our shoulder to be 3 inches so I'm going to be cutting a total of six inches because we're going to have three inches on one side and three inches on the other side i'm just going to add one inch for seam allowance of sewing allowance so we're going to fold into two and then we'll cut 20 21 inches on each side i'm adding one inch for the sewing allowance so 21 inches on each side and this is perfect now we're going to be cutting by 60 inches by 6 inches so 7 inches 1 inch also for allowance so I'm going to mark that here okay and then I'm going to cut okay so now that we've cut out the front and the back of our bodycon dress it's the front and the back is exactly the same thing you know, and I've also gone ahead to cut out this piece, you know, using a shoulder circumference for the width. And then the length is about 7 inches. This length is because we need 3 inch on each side. When we fold it, we're going to have about 3 inch on each side. And then the 1 inch that we're going to have in that's half an inch on each side is going to be for our sewing allowance. And um, I, I, I'm just going to go ahead to close up the sides of our dress. Then we're going to be using the rolled hem to hem the armhole and then we're going to attach this part to this dress, you know, so it's going to be looking something like this. We're going to attach this part to the dress and I'm going to go ahead also to hem the bottom of my dress. Definitely I want the dress to have a slit by each by one side so I'm not going to close up, you know, the entire dress. I'm going to sew one side you know, halfway and then I'm going to sew the other one close. So I'm going to have in a slit on one side to make it easy 
to move around with this dress so I'm going to do the sewing off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like <music> Okay, so this is the outcome of our off shoulder bodycomb dress and I mean it turned out really 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 nice and I really 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 love the outcome. Please if you found this video interesting do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to share and subscribe to our channel. I'll keep uploading more videos on how you took in so. So until I come your way next time, have a nice day. Bye bye.